getting things done. You know, it's funny because so often people say, when I get caught up or I need, a, I need an extra, I wish the weekend had a third day, I could catch up on things. Have you ever said to yourself, now I'm caught up? <laughs> it doesn't seem to happen, right? See, Henry David Thoreau said it long ago. He said, it's not enough to be busy. So too are the ants. The question is, what are you busy about? And every time I've worked with a leader, a person in a high responsibility role that is crunched for time, what I've seen over and over and over again, and it happened in my life to the extreme as well, is that very often we're filling our lives with things that don't matter. Things that don't matter. Now, almost a century ago, Charles Schwab was the head of, at first, um, Carnegie Steel and then Bethlehem Steel. And Charles Schwab, as the head of this company, hired an efficiency expert named Ivy Lee to come in and he said, I'd love to know how I can make my company more efficient. Ivy Lee said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a simple recipe, you try it, and if you try it and you like it, you, you pay me what you think it's worth. Schwab ended up paying Ivy Lee $35,000 for this idea. And that was at a time when a lot of people made about $2 a day. So $35,000 for this one idea. It took Ivy Lee a few minutes to explain it, and Ivy Lee simply said this. He said, at the end of every day, before you go home after work, make a list of the six most important things for you to do tomorrow. Then look through that list and order them in the order of their importance. I've been doing this for several years now in my own life and in my own business. And I'll start, I take a simple notebook and I write down six things. Sometimes it's four or five, sometimes it's seven. So sometimes I violate, have to send Ivy Lee a note, sorry about that. <laughs> but about six things that are most important to put into tomorrow's day and then number those six things in the order of their importance. Then Ivy Lee said simply this, in the morning, first, do item number one. Don't move on to item number two until item number one is done. You will find a radical change in what you get done in your day. So let me add a couple things to that. Socrates famously said, the unexamined life is not worth living. And I meet way too many people that don't examine their life. They apply for a job, they've got this 10 years on their resume, which Mark Twain said the resume is the greatest lie ever told, right? The greatest lie ever told. 10 years experience on their resume, and it's not 10 years, it's the same year repeated 10 times because they don't examine their life. So I would add to this six things list, make a little notebook, six things tonight before you go home, Write out the six things most important to get done tomorrow, order them in the order of their importance, and then leave a little space below that before the next day to examine that day. How'd I do with that? How was my energy level? How productive did I feel? Did I skip to item number four? Maybe I, I ordered them wrong the night before. But take a few notes and examine that day, and you will see tremendous progress in what you get done over the next few weeks and months. It's really the same as Stephen Covey's concept of putting the big rocks in your week first. One other thing I can add to this. You can take this concept to another level and on Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, plan out your whole week. Maybe not in that much depth, but put one or two of the big rocks in that day. Maybe one big project, most important thing to get done on Monday, and put it in there Monday, and put it in your calendar before lunchtime before you check email, before you take any phone calls, before you schedule any meetings. Put that big project, most critical thing to get done. See, so often we're at the, uh, we're at the mercy of urgent things that are not quite so important. So, Ivy Lee from almost a century ago's advice to Charles Schwab, and my advice passed on from Ivy Lee and Charles Schwab to you. Make your list of six things every day, and then examine that day, examine that day. The unexamined life is not worth living. I hope that this serves you. I hope it adds value to you.